Hey y'all. Today I am building a house in The Sims 4, but I am using a random budget. <laughs> using this handy dandy number generator, we are going to be randomizing the budget for the entire house. So I'm thinking we do 5,000 to 50,000 because I just looked it up and you can spend 50K pretty easily. So shall we see what we get? Three, two, what? Whoa! 33801. That's pretty good. That's like a little bit more than a starter home though. Like a starter home is 20K. So like, that's not that much more, but let's see what we can do. 33801. 33801. Set it. She's angry. I just took all of her money away. I mean, I get it. Okay, let's see. What can we do with this? Okay, I sort of have an idea. I don't know how big I can make this. I need to like be kind of careful. I was gonna do a two story house, but I'm wondering if that's a bad idea. Okay, I'm already down to 29,000. If I did a one bedroom house, I mean, if I did less rooms, I could make the rooms nicer. So maybe that's the sacrifice I make. I just make like a smaller shell. Maybe if I just make the, the walls are already medium height. Okay, let's maybe like, maybe we should put her up on like a little bit of a, just give her like a, give her some, give her some stilts, make her a little taller. Put a roof on this. Hopefully we can make this look cute. Okay, this is where I'm at right now. This roof has like a weird little pointy part. I cannot figure out for the life of me how to get rid of it. But whenever I try to do the roof any other way, I don't like it. So it's just gonna be pointy, okay? I actually need to like bring this forward a little bit. It doesn't actually reach. Now I wanna put these all over the house because I think it'll look really nice. Luckily, they're only 25 simoleons each, but am I blowing through the budget with these little details? Okay, then I know I want the front door to be right here, and it'll be like a smaller door too. Something like that could work. We do have medium wall height though, so like I hope these don't look puny and sad, because I could use one of these, but like they're gonna be expensive. 275 versus like $50. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to spend all my money on a door. See, you know, look how puny these doors look. <laughs> Comparison to the wall looks so sad, but they're cheap. Forty dollars. You know what I mean? Now, preferably, I love these doors. They're my favorite, and I might attempt to use them. I can always change them. But basically, this is gonna be a bedroom. That's a bathroom. This is gonna be the kitchen, which I'm gonna open up with an arch, and then that's gonna be like a dining room slash like breakfast room. And then we've got a really big living room, which we can also double up as like a little office space, I think. So an archway is like two hundred and twenty. I just had the coolest idea. What if I made the kitchen on a platform. That looks so cool. Let me get some lights in here. It's so dark, I can't see a thing. And then to get to the bathroom, you can just get to it from down here. Or so not the bathroom. Oh wait, I was gonna open this up. Uh, For this one, maybe I can do an arch. Just something like that. Oh wait, I could put one up here. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> Unless you want to do a little hop down. Uh, No, let's put it down here. Oh, that's kind of fun. Hopefully that's fine. Okay, let's delete. That was $136 we just saved right there. Can I see the flooring underneath this? Yeah, there we go. Just put that wall back. Okay, here we go. That's how you save some money, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. I love the spandrels under here, but like you can barely see them in the front. I really would like, I don't know. I feel like I'd be more inclined to do them out here if you could see them more, but you can't really. So I think I probably won't. You can put them here? Are you serious? Oh my God, you totally can. Do I need that though? I mean, it's kind of interesting. Like. Don't get me wrong. Is it necessary? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it is. As much as I love those, I don't think it's necessary. Anyways, let's figure out the window situation. These season windows are only $30 and they're pretty nice. I'm thinking they might be winners today. I just wish that they were like a little bit longer. That's my only complaint. The other option I was thinking for here was these or these, because these are very long. They're $70 though, so a bit scary. But these also have the black on the inside like these do. Oh my gosh, wait, these have a swatch like that too? Hold up, that looks so good. <laughs> Uh-oh, see, it fits so well. Okay, let's just use these windows for everything else. Let's not go crazy now. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna do with the windows. So nothing on this side, which I know you're like, what? But like, just hear me out, okay? Now listen. <sighs> I'm having a crisis. Cause this little window here would be perfect for in the kitchen. I like mapped it out. Or I could put like, you know, two here, which also looks cute, but it looks a bit random on this side. You know what? We'll do that instead. Cause that did look pretty stupid. Anyways, this is gonna be where you eat. So a lot of windows in there. And I'm doing this for the living room. Cause I wanna put a fireplace probably on this wall. And then maybe we could put like a painting there. I don't know, I think it will look nice. And then there's just the one little window in the bathroom. I've got 26 simoleons left. Obviously I put down some stuff in the kitchen. That's not gonna stay there, but I still need to do wallpapers. 
And you know, I'd really love to put some window boxes out here. Like some of these guys. Come on. This just makes everything look so much better. And you can't tell me it doesn't. Oh, that looks so cute there. Me, five minutes ago. Guys, we're on a budget. We need, we really need to be careful, okay? Let's get some wallpaper. So we're outside. I do love doing like a mix of stone and like either siding or brick. I could go for something kind of light like that, or I could do like a blue. Oh, this is very coastal looking actually with that stone and that blue, very coastal. I could even change the blue a little bit. Oh my God, I'm actually loving that. Hold on. I'm kind of obsessed with the thought that this will look like coastal. I love a coastal vibe. Oh my God, I'm loving that. Ooh, I mean, we are by the, well, I wouldn't say that's coastal. Okay, let's scoot the whole house like back just a little bit. That way I can get in my signature swirly path. We'll swirl it around. How do I want to do this? Takes a few tries. Okay, that looks good. That's the one. That's the winner. As far as landscaping goes, I don't want to go too crazy because I want to try to save some cash. Put some dirt around the house. Okay, we'll change the foundation look. Okay, got a little bit of landscaping out there. I'm gonna call it there. I want to go inside. I actually still need to put, I think I'm gonna do white wood. Keeping it coastal, aren't we? I think that's the vibe I'm gonna go for now. I've already decided. Put a little lantern outside and let's go in. Okay, so for flooring, a light wood is very coastal. Very coastal vibes. We could also use the new one. I don't know if I like this one as much. I'm honest. That one's not too bad. That does look pretty coastal. I think I might change these stairs to match that. I don't want them to get too expensive though. Oh, oh, oh. that's pretty close. Oh, but that's like almost actually it. Okay, we'll go with that one instead. As for wallpaper, coastal people love shiplap, don't they? Should I sort of make that look like it's happening in here? Definitely shiplap in the bathroom. I'm thinking like a nice paneled wall will be perfect. Like the ones I use all the time, like this guy, like very fancy, something like that. But that's an expensive wallpaper. I just realized, what was I thinking? I wasn't even thinking. Oh my gosh, yeah. All the wallpaper that I like to use in this game is of course the most expensive classic. <laughs> well, let's just see how that goes for now. And then in here, oh, everything is saying to use blue. Is this too much blue? I feel like that's too much. Is that better? It's boring is what it is. <laughs> Okay, how about that? That's a nice happy medium. I'm happy with that. If we do that in there, then I won't do, uh, I won't do blue in here. That's a little much. I know I keep changing this. That one saves me money and it's so cute. I just really want it to be like over the top blue. The stripes, so coastal. Now I don't think the outside of this house really looks that coastal. I wasn't really going for that in the beginning, but the interior is so coastal. <laughs> trying to look for like a nice wallpaper that can go in here. I have to do something crazy. Oh my God, it doesn't really match. I'm so upset, I'm so upset, I'm so upset. It just looks like fine china. No, I won't do it. God, I love it though. It's not the same shade as blue as out here though. I'm not trying to make every room blue. They just love blue. All right, you walk in, entryway, boom. You put your stuff down. You hang your purse, you hang your keys. Let's put down a little rug. I'm gonna put a little plant on there too because I want to. Let me get all the necessities and then maybe decorate. Maybe that's more important. I should get all the expensive things first. I should really do the kitchen, get the fireplace I want. I can go cheaper on the fireplace, but like this one's 450, this one's 600. We may just have to go with that one just cause it's the cheapest. Cause I'd like to get a TV too. And it's, you know, $2,500 that the one that hangs on the wall. So then, now that we got that out of the way, let's go into the kitchen. So these rustic counters are incredible and they are pretty cheap. They do have a blue, but that's a little overboard for me. But this, it's not giving coastal, but this is, how much more is this? 175 versus 120. Okay. Well, let's see. Who knows? Maybe we can make it work. Oh my God, the end pieces to this are so cute. Okay, I want a nice fridge. Typically I'd go for this one. It's $2,600 though. So maybe not today. We can go with that. For 500, way better. We'll put a sink right there. See, if I had an oven, I'd love to put it right in the middle. Maybe I put the sink there. And then I move the stove over here. This one's 600. <sighs> Oh man, I'm giving them an old timey one. I'm sorry. Look how high up these cabinets go. I wish the end pieces on both sides looked like this one, but flipped. Maybe I can fake it. That's pretty good. It is weird that the cabinets both opened in the same direction, but we know what's a fight. We're being creative, guys. We could do that or... No, if that went all the way down, like if it was here, I'd say maybe. Okay, let me get a little trash can. And technically that's all the necessities for the kitchen at the moment. Let's go to the bathroom. Oh, I never put flooring in here. Oops. Oh wait, let's use, oh, I don't like that color. Oh, 
no, 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 I do not like that at all. Why are you beige and not white? You're giving me the ick. I wanted to use this one because it's got like a baseboard sort of thing. Oh, it's giving me the ick. Unless I went along with it like that. It is actually giving me the ick. As far as tile wallpaper goes, I don't really like many of them. Maybe that one. And that costs more. Are you serious? We could just go full white. We've got a lot of blue happening in here, so maybe no blue. I put this cabinet in here because I had a vision that I put towels on it, but that's only if I can. Okay, so let's just move that out of the way. So the shower bath combos, the cheapest one, 845. I don't mind this one. I think it's fine. We put that there and then we say put the toilet right here. Then on this side, we can put the sink and it's perfect. And I can even make it white and blue. Nice. That one mirror that I use all the time. This is so coastal. Oh no, it's clipping. You have to be really tall to look in that mirror. Oh my God, they even have a blue border around one of them. Perfect. Now I do want curtains and stuff too, but I'm gonna leave that for later just to make sure I've got enough money. I'm doing pretty good right now. So in here, I think I can put like a normal size table if I have the money for it. And these are all actually kind Kind of expensive. I'm thinking I just go for something like this. I'll put a rug under it. Are there any like rattan chairs? Those are so coastal. Like these guys, these like wicker ones, or even like these. But they have to be a light color, like a light shade. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. How expensive can I really go? How expensive are we getting? I do feel like these also work, but they're 165 per chair, okay? Oh, they've got a light blue though. They also have this one. But the blue, the blue is so good. Also the pink is nice, but let's go with the blue since I've decided to pick a theme, even though that's not part of the challenge at all. Should the table go that way or that way? If you were to walk into this room, I don't know, either way looks fine to me. We'll just go with this way. Maybe I'll change the table to be like the same color as the floor. And then the bedroom. I want a nice big bed and this one's calling my name. Ooh, <laughs> they've got blue. <laughs> I'm trying to like find something else I might like. I mean like that's pretty. I'm thinking, you know, like little rich retired grandma lives here in her coastal home next to the beach. Okay, I kind of would love to get a vanity in here. Oh, like that just feels so right to me. We'll break up the blue in here a little bit with some more like pastels and stuff. I think that could be fun. Okay, so everything else is pretty much just a bonus. Let's maybe get a couch with 12. 12,863 simoleons left. We're doing pretty good. I'm almost wondering I should do like seating like this and then two lounge chairs. I never do this. Maybe it could be fun. Oh my gosh, matching chairs. Ooh, these are cool too. I like the pink. I think the pink is really fun. Ooh, they've got like a stripey one. I don't know which one I like more. Maybe, oh, I actually don't know. How do you get in here to like sit down? You gotta go all the way around. Is that how this works? Unless I do something like this instead, which is kind of cute. I just really want to use these chairs now. I'm just really like, I'm really into them now. This table is perfect, but I wish it was like slightly smaller. That's kind of perfect. I know the shadow's still there, but like, can we just pretend that it's not? Does that mean everything here is going to float? I see. What if I sort of like tried to trick it? Oh, that's pretty close. That's pretty close. Okay, we need a nice big rug. Now I could do something like neutral. That's a little much. Well, there's that one. That one's neutral, but still like got a little bit going on. A little lamp. We need some big plants in here, like so bad. Like seriously, I'm going to put two. And then over here, I would really love to put a bookshelf. I want to put a desk in here somewhere. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I don't really have room in here for this now, do I? Maybe somewhere else. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I'm doing pretty good on money right now. So I don't feel like I need to stress at the moment. I feel like I can just like decorate like I would normally and then like think about it later, you know? I'm liking the pink accents. They're fun. Let's do curtains. There are a lot of really nice big tall windows in this house and I would love to have some curtains. Now the problem is I have some pretty tall walls. So like these will work, but they're not that glamorous. Now those are not bad. Fortunately, they don't make these for, you know, more than one window. Just a little upsetting. Oh my God, the cats and dogs. Always coming in so clutch with these curtains, I swear. Okay, you know what? Do cats and dogs have a single window version? Oh wait, is that it right there? Is that gonna fit? Oh, I love them. Okay, they do clip a little through the uh, fireplace, but I think it's fine. Now we do have a little bit of room, I think, for like a table behind here. That would be cool if I could fit one. That's actually the perfect table. Hello. I think there's a table that's literally meant for this. Like for going behind the couch. There's a skinny one. No, this is fine. We will put little, there's so many little animals to choose from. What the, oh, a piggy. Oh my gosh. No, let's go with the little dog. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I forgot about this beautiful item. A lot of plants going on. Maybe I'll move this 
this little guy. Man, I don't know. I love him. I want to display him. Maybe in the kitchen. <laughs> so cute. Because I really am loving this item right here like so much. And then maybe a candle. As far as the desk goes, I was thinking there, but that's kind of like kind of small. Unless I did one of these. Oh, I could just put it in here maybe. Okay, I do sort of want curtains here, but like they cover the whole window. There we go. That looks way better. I'm just not thinking it looks so good in there. I might just do normal curtains for in there just so it matches. This is what I want to put here though. How gorge. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Ah! Sorry, I don't know what that was. Okay, I think this rug is perfect for in here. It's giving very granny chic and you know I love that. Some paintings on the walls. I'm thinking there should be a whole couch in here. There's all this room. I know I was gonna put a desk. I do have a lot of money to blow through though. A computer would really do the trick. I could put one in this corner, but it's kind of like not the best spot. The only other place I can think of to do it is like right here, but then you've got like a lot of tables happening. You know what? I just think it's not gonna happen. It's not in the cards for us today unfortunately, but you know what is? A couch and a nice big old plant. And even this mirror doesn't have anywhere to go. That's really sad. However, this mirror does. We could sort of flip this around. I'm gonna make like a little collage thing up here. Just a little guy, just with those two paintings. And then a little calendar thing over there. I think that room is done. So for the kitchen, now that I've got like some money to just blow through, I can get a microwave. I can get a chicken. Obviously this room can get some towels. Oh, I just realized this room doesn't have curtains. If anyone needs them, you do. Scoot this over a little bit. There we go. Get some toilet paper, a towel for you, a painting right above. I think like some paper towels right here by the sink would be really really handy. Cooking utensils. Okay, this has to go in here. I know this is more country, a little less coastal. I just love this item. I just think it rocks. Put a little uh, shelf with some more cooking utensils up there. Lot of cooking utensils. We have a surplus of them. And let's all pretend for a second that these are herbs. Some basil in there, cooking it up. I'm at 1,500 smoleons left. Honestly, we like nailed it. Look at this, a little spotlight for the diploma. Nice. I still have a thousand smoleons left. So technically I probably could do more, but I'm actually loving the way that this looks. I really like playing with platforms and stuff. It's not something I normally do. So whenever I find an opportunity to, I'm always really excited. You know what, actually? Let's change out this fireplace because that one was never my favorite. It's this one. I like her. There we go. I scooted everything back. But yeah, what do you think? But that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.